assalamu alaikum students how are you i hope all of you are good and enjoying your vacations so let's open your science book unit number 13 the movement of the earth in our last lessons we have learned about the earth that is a planet we have learned about its movement we have learned two types of movement which one was rotation and the second one revolution today we are going to learn about the effects of these movements of earth actually we are going to learn about the seasons how seasons are changing and seasons are changes because of the movement of the earth that is rotation and revolution both are affecting the weathers open page number 117 and start with the seasons the earth is slightly tilted on its axis as it orbits the sun which causes different parts of the earth to receive different amount of heat and light this tilt of the earth's axis creates the season so as we know that earth is slightly tilted if you look at this picture in this picture you can uh, see the poles aapko poles nazar aa rahe hain earth is slightly tilted this is the movement of the earth and this uh, because of its tilt uh, we are receiving different amount of heat and light from the sun that's why we have different season at different places when the north north pole is tilted towards the sun the northern half or hemisphere is hot and has summer while the southern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun as a result the southern hemisphere is colder at this time and has winter when one part is in front of uh, sun it will be having summer and the part that is away from the sun that will be having winter similarly while it is winter in the northern hemisphere it is summer in the southern hemisphere the diagram below will help you to understand how seasons occur on the earth so let's have a look on the picture uh, picture mein aap dekh sakte hain there is sun in the middle aapko middle mein sun nazar aa raha hai sides pe earth ki movement show ki hui hai theek hai different positions aapko batayi hui hai earth ki uh, you can see uh, north pole and mean north pole and the uh, lower portion is south pole and earth is little bit tilted in this picture you can have a look और डिफरेंट जब अर्थ पूरा एक राउंड जो है ना वो सन के इर्द गिर्द एक वन ईयर में कंप्लीट करता है और इस वन ईयर में इट हैज़ फोर सीजन्स यू कैन सी पोजिशन एंड सीजन स्प्रिंग विंटर समर एंड ऑटम इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द पोजिशन ऑफ द अर्थ विच सीजन इज देयर हैव अ लुक एट दिस पिक्चर इन दिस पिक्चर यू कैन सी दैट अर्थ इज रोटेटिंग एंड इट इज स्लाइटली टिल्टेड so uh, in the top there is according to the position of the earth it is having autumn season in september on the right there is june and summer season on the uh, left side there is december and the winter season and the lower there is uh, march and the spring season i'll show you a video to understand the concept of season how earth is uh, rotating and revolution uh, revolving around the sun and how seasons are going to be changed Have a look. Sometimes the northern hemisphere is tilted toward the sun, and sometimes it is tilted away from the sun. In January, the northern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun, so it doesn't get much of the sun's light. The southern hemisphere gets more sunlight. So the southern hemisphere has summer while the northern hemisphere has winter. The southern hemisphere has longer days. The northern hemisphere has shorter days. The north pole is now in darkness for 6 months because it is tilted away from the sun. and the south pole has 6 months of day because it is always tilted towards the sun in june the northern hemisphere is tilted toward the sun it gets more direct sunlight it's summer time in the northern hemisphere what season is it in the southern hemisphere 
That's right, winter. Now the southern hemisphere gets shorter days. The northern hemisphere gets the longer ones. The poles are now in opposite positions to where they were in January, with the North Pole having six months of day and the South Pole six months of night. In March and September, the sun is facing right at the middle of the Earth. The rays of the sun hit the northern and southern hemispheres equally. I hope you have enjoyed the video and understand the concept of season, how earth is moving and how seasons are changing. Now we will check what are the effects of season on our daily life in different ways. Due to the changes in the weather on different seasons, people change their clothing, food and activities. In some countries, people also celebrate different events which are related to the particular seasons. So, you know that as the seasons change, we change our culture, we change our clothing, we change our then we change our food, activities, or different countries may seasonal activities, even celebrate. And these are the effects of season on our daily life. So, you have to revise, uh, revise all the lesson. Then uh, you have to do your homework. That is about the concept check, page number 118. You have to solve this. These are the fill in the blanks. You have to solve it and take picture of your book and send, at, send us at WhatsApp number. Thank you so much. Bye.